I'm Phil Guyman. I was a pro cyclist for 10 years. Now I'm retired, but I still train as hard as I can to set the best times on the toughest climbs I can find and go on fun adventures on my bike all over the world. This is Worst Retirement Ever. It's all right. <laughs> the, um, welcome to scenic Westlake Country Estates in Westlake Village, California. We're at the bottom of Westlake Boulevard climb. We're off to a great start here and worst retirement ever season, this is four? 17, 18, 19. Welcome to season four. That's pretty good. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> oh, see, there's a bathroom. I was just complaining there's no bathrooms. There's one on the back of that truck. Um, the, uh, anyway, we'll get back to that. Uh, we're here in Westlake, California. So the first worst retirement ever is kind of a low-key, short worst retirement ever. I live in LA. My, my favorite training ground is, is Malibu. The weather's perfect and there's all these incredible climbs and the roads are pretty empty out here except if you're trying to film something. And, but what happens is because it's so perfect, all these pros come out here every fall or every the January, February kind of time. Uh, they start in the fall, but they come out now in, in droves and they're, they're really ruining Strava. As we've discussed before, pros do not belong on Strava. That's what I'm here for. The rally team was out here, the rally UHC guys, the team I rode for a million years ago. Um, Garrett Thomas is out here. Thankfully, I think he's not on Strava, but he's also like a little too cool to go for KOMs, which, you know, you win the tour, you, you don't have to prove yourself anymore. Brandon McNulty is the, is the current enemy today. So Brandon McNulty, I went for his KOM when I was out in Phoenix with the, with the state fixie guys last year, and I tied his South Mountain KOM. And I'll admit several things about that. One, I think he was like 16 when he got that and I was a fully formed adult at that point. Uh, I'll also say like start out, Brand Milty's better bike racer already at, at he's, he, maybe he's 20 now, I don't know, but he's already better than I ever was. So I'll just, I'll admit that. On the South Mountain KOM, I tied him. That sort of, like if I beat him, he would have gone back two days later and taken it. But because I tied him, I think he let that, he let that stay which is super cool. And then the other day I ran into him at, at Peddler's Fork too. I said hi to him. He's, he's a nice guy. I talked to him, but I didn't, I didn't ask if he was going to mess with any of my KOMs, but I was secretly glad that he, that he did because it gives me something to do, you know? So all the pros come out here and they ruin Strava and then I got to come and defend my territory uh, pretty much every, every February and, and January. That's, that's, my, that's my job. Here's the thing, he didn't get it. So he went for this KOM, which goes back to the top and then you can coast down to the ocean. So over here is Westlake, which is the city. And uh, so Westlake, you're talking, you're, you're celebrities who are sick of LA who want to come out here and have a little land, you know, or a little peace. Britney Spears is somewhere out there, you know, that's, that's where Westlake, you, you can tell LA neighborhood by the celebrities that end up there. So Stallone, Britney, they have so much in common. They're over here. He missed the segment that people go for. He missed the one that I have. I took that KOM from Dave Zabriskie. Oh, Dave Zabriskie also lives there. So the three celebrities <laughs> that live in Westlake, Stallone, Britney Spears, and Dave Zabriskie. Zabriskie took this KOM when he was actually retired, like better retired than me. Unconfirmed, but I'm told when, when Zabriskie went for it that he removed his shirt to save weight. That is what I heard from a good source, but I've not corroborated with Dave. But I went for it in my poorly retired fitness and then McNulty went for it the other day. So he didn't get the Strava segment, but he went directly from my heart and my soul. Uh, and he took a KOM from, from my own Fondo. Yeah, that's it. This, is, this one's for you, McNulty. And if I get it, stay off of Strava. And if I don't get it, I'm gonna change the segment to back there so where I do get it. up in a new year that's how it works my my custom stuff with my own sponsors is not here yet I have a new clothing sponsor called Starlight Apparel also the Black Bibs is kind of their sister company anyway I stole a sample speed suit from them and mine are getting made they're on the way already but for now I'm on Haymarket is a is a amateur team out of Virginia that I did a bike ride there once when I lived in Baltimore bunch of good dudes so no problem repping these guys but I don't know what any of this is and uh, I apologize to the sponsors who are mine are supposed to be on. We'll take care of that very shortly. But for now, um, I'm, on, I'm on Haymarket Racing.
that's one for old man Phil and uh, zero for, for these young pros and their training camps and whatnot. So try again next year, guys, or, uh, or come out to Phil's Cookie Fondo last weekend in October, Malibu, California. All right, more coming. Hang on. There we go. All right, let's do it.